have. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yep. And the last time we probably read a book, like, when I was six and now I'm eight. So I've changed a lot. You left out a year ago. Yep, and we're in a new house. What are we reading? It's on my YouTube channel, Amber Lily. You either can write down Amber Lily Fun Time or Amber Lily Green Fingers. I think you're Fun Time now, aren't you? Yeah. And, but there's still videos on Amber Lily Green Fingers. And I have done a tour of my bedroom, so you also can watch that. Look at the size of you now. Huge. Remember that Mawam one when I said, I have a Mawam. Oh god, if you look at the other videos mm -hmm. that we did. Yeah, really funny. They're really old, aren't they? Yeah. So we're going to be reading two stories. Two? Yeah, in one video. One so one. one's going to be called <laughs> Mad About Mini Beasts. And these we haven't read yet on the channel. And then The Ravenous Beast. Ravenous. Ravenous. And I wrote down how many pages there are in it. 20. So there's 24 pages in here and 23 pages in here. The ones... So this book we're going to read first because that has the less pages. Okay, let's start. So are you reading... You're going to read to the kids, yeah? Yeah. Alright then, here we go, and kids. This story is cool. If you... If, like... What's the story called? If then? one's a hard word, I'll explain it. So it's mad about mini beasts. And who's uh, who's the author? Who wrote author? it? Author. Um. Giles. Giles Andrea. And David Wojciechowski. Okay, you guys need to see. So you guys need to see the, some of the pages of them. So, the first bit. If it's like a tricky word for me, I will describe it. At the bottom of your garden, you I might... I can see you in the mirror. Oh, yeah! Uh, I can see you in that mirror. I know, that's what I said. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear sound. A chirrup from the treetops. So a chirrup is like... Chirp. like is it a chirp, babe? Yeah. Like, like, like from that bird over there, look on the... Chirrup. Can you see the bird on the aerial? Yeah, and it goes like... Make the sound? Chirp. Chirp, chirp. Yeah. From the treetops. Or a scuttle on the ground. So scuttle means like it's... It's like something moving and it makes yeah. like a... The sh shaking sound? Yeah. Okay. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle, or a bee. The sun is in the sky, and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini beasts have seen you, and they want to come and play. So there's pictures. Okay, let's flip the page. Do you guys need to me to describe it? I don't think you do. Describe what? Like, if they don't know a word. Do it right. No. Snail. No. Whip. What was that? My dad just fried, by the way. Snail. With the children, you can't say farted. <gasps> My dad trumped. No, popped. My dad popped. Snail, we're famous for slippery snow. Slippery slime. <laughs> snail, we're famous for slithering slowly. And this looks like a snail. The snails have antennas look like this. And there's now a snail. But wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your house on your back wherever you wanted to go? See, now the tables have turned. I'm messing about and you're trying to read. So there's a picture, and that also says slither. We still got this on. Oh yeah. Don't really like that. It's a fashion look. So wait, ones up. Oh. Ones up, 
and the one the stand that's a fashion look. Okay, now a slug. I hate slugs, but I like snails. Just what is it? Isn't a slug a male snail? Is it? No, I just one's got a shell on it and the other doesn't. Slug. We're sticky and we're slimy. And we haven't and we haven't any bones. Oh god, have you got and any bones? We haven't any bones. Yeah. So we hang out under flower pots and shelter under stones. Yes, 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 yes. Get off, Dad. I'm not a baby like you used to do. No. Worm. That's your favourite worm. I wiggle and wriggle down into my hole, and then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvellous mud. Do try some, it's really quite yummy. And do you remember what I used to do every time you saw? Weirdly. <coughs> oh, that is not a winny. <coughs> that is not a winny. We used to do this. Winny. Winny. Winnie, Winnie. Spider, I love to wake up in the morning when I when my web is all covered with dew. I want it there. It's such a fine sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? Yes. A fly. <laughs> my eyes are big and orange and my body's black and fuzzy and I fly around your house all day just being very buzzy. Wow. I'll show you the spider, big mummy, and the flies. Beetle, we've got these two feelers on top of our heads, which wiggle and help us to see, and we scuttle around without making a sound. Can you scuttle as quickly as me? Earwig. Earwig. Earwig, oh god, earwig. So you've got pincers. Snip. I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten, but the weirdest thing about me is these pinches on my bottom. Yes, they are. Beetle. Earwig. Or they could go in your ears because that's why it's called earwig. So, like, could they have them no, in it's your not. ears? Yeah, they can get in your ears. They're not called earwigs because of earwig going in your ears. Hey, Google. Why are earwigs called earwigs? On the website entomaudiologynews.com, they say the term earwig is derived from Old English ear, which means ear, and wicker, which means insect. In German it is called ohrwurm, which is earworm. People also sometimes ask me, how do earwigs get their name? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. No. Yes. On the website webmd.com, they say the bug's name comes from the Old English words earwigger, which roughly translates to earwiggler or ear creature, which is how the myth began about this type of insect crawling into your ears while you sleep. But it's not true. Wow. Uh, that's, that is so weird. Like, earwigs go. But they're not in our house. No. Oh, I felt something go in my ear. Oh, my finger. Oh. Stick insect. So it's like a branch, but it's an insect. I'd rather not to be eaten, so I've got this brilliant trick. I can I cling to leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. And we ants like to work as an army, which means that we do things together. Just watch how we carry these leaves to our nest. You must admit that's pretty clever. So stick insect. It's all right there. It looks like a stick and then the ants. I bet there'll be a butterfly on the next one. Yeah, there is. There is. Caterpillar. I munch on the leaves in the garden. Then slowly I spin my cocoon. But now I must sleep as I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly soon. Yeah, I'm loving this lovely, lovely reading, Alice. And then it'll turn into a butterfly. Ladybird. How many spots has a ladybird got? I don't know. How many? Well, it depends. It could be eight, it could be six, two, two four. 
Look at my back and you'll see. I know that I've got, well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you... You haven't got any. Why don't you... You said look at my back. Why don't you count them with me? So, yes. Guys, count with me. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. See that ladybug? Ladybird, I should say. It's got six all together and three on one part and another part. Hey Google, why are they called ladybirds? On the website lovethegarden.com, they say the word ladybird is thought to have been inspired by early images of the Virgin Mary who would appear with People also ask me, why does the UK call ladybugs ladybirds? According to wikipedia.org, the name ladybird originated in Britain where the insects became known as Our Lady's Bird or the Lady Beetle. Mary was often depicted wearing a red cloak in early paintings, and the spots of the seven-spot ladybird were said to symbolise her seven joys and seven sorrows. Okay, centipede. Hello, I'm the centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as friendly can be. Now, which of my hands would you most like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. So it's that. Centipede, hello. Oh, let's count them, guys. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let me just actually check if it's 29. No, we miscount. It was 30. Okay, there's the picture. I think I did already show you. But, yeah. B. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You may think that it sounds a bit funny, but you shout, hooray, if you live every day in the hive full of heaven and honey. Full of what, honey? Full of heavenly honey. Heavenly. Yeah. Dragonfly. Okay, so last time. Okay, I think I should do this to my dad. Dragonfly, my wings are like shimmering rainbows and my body's a dazzling green. Of all the animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. Ooh. How? A grasshopper. I'm scared of these. It's not grass, just... it's grass. I say grass. No, it's grass. I say grass. No, it's grass. 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 Grasshopper. <laughs> Grasshopper. Grass. 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 Is that it? Grass. Hopper. We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping as our legs are incredibly strong. And oh, we're not jumping. We rub <laughs> them together to make the most beautiful song. Chirp! <laughs> So 
Did you like those maybes? What yes. a lot there are. Flying, crawling, slithering and jumping. Oh, so far. Some live by the water and some live in the air. Some are living underground and finding food down there. But now, let's leave the garden. We can come another time. Which beast was your favourite one? I bet you can't guess mine. But which one is your favourite out of spider, ladybird, butterfly, earwig, and caterpillar? Caterpillar? Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Snail. Oh no, that's a centipede, caterpillar. Let me start again. Ladybird. Spider, butterfly, earwig, ant, centipede, snail, caterpillar, grasshopper, beetle, and a slug. Next book. Make sure to subscribe as well. Oh, we're reading the next book now. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and like this video. I did it wrong, I think. I think it was, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Oh no. Please like the video, turn on the notification bell, and just subscribe to the channel. Okay, the Ravini. How do you say it? Ravenous. The Ravenous Beast. Stop, you're going to mess it up. Oh, look at all these animals. Pick your favourite one. There's a cow, there's a cow, elephant, lion, crocodile, dog, cat, and a mouse, and a whale. Ooh. I am the hungriest animal of all, said the I'm just going to say Ravenous, okay. said the Ravenous Beast. I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. I'm so hungry I could eat the big yellow house on the hill. Gobble it up, swallow it down. Now that's what I call hungry. Nonsense, monsters, said the little white mouse. No one's hungrier than me. I'm so hungry I could eat. A red boat and a ringing bell. Nibble, nibble, tuck them away. Now that's what I call hungry. Hook em, hook em, said the ma marmalade cat. I'm as hungry as can be. I'm so hungry I could eat a bucket, a spade and some red lemonade. New em up, gulp em up, sniff em down. That, now that's what I call hungry. Pooey, pooey, said the spotty dog. No one's hungrier than me. I'm so hungry. I could eat a roller skate, a birthday cake, a rubber duck, a ticking clock, slap them up, burp them up, burp them, woof them down. Now that's what I call hungry. Moo, moo, Marla Kay said the black and the white cow. I'm as hungry as can be. I'm so hungry I could eat a castle, a crown, the queen's dressing gown, a welly boot, all the king's loot. Munch them up, crunch them down. Now that's what I call hungry. Bellamy, said the green crocodile. No one's hungrier than me. I'm so hungry I could eat a suitcase, a wand, a jack-in-the-box, a polka dot sock, a top hat and a spinning top. Snip them up, snap them down. Now that's what I call hungry. We get a bit closer. Flip flap doodle, said the grinning lion. I'm as hungry as can be. I'm so hungry I could eat a ray gun, a rocket, a hum bag for my pocket, a trampoline, trombone with a den, a bouncing ball, a circus tent, fight them up, 
Oh, and down there, that's what I call hungry. Not on your nelly, said the big eared elephant. No one's hungrier than me. I'm so hungry I could eat an aeroplane, a parachute, a pot of tea, a hot air balloon, a tin of beans, beans, a parcel, a kite, and a green bus. Suck them up, scoff them down. Now that's what I call hungry. Whoosh, swoosh, said the gigantic whale. I'm as hungry as can be. I'm so hungry I could eat a pirate ship, treasure map, a piggy bank, a yellow map, an anchor, a chain, a flag, a tin drum, a hoo, and a barrel of rum. Squish them in, squish them down, and out. That, that's what I call hungry. Stop, said the ravenous beast. I am the hungriest of all. Oh, I'm so hungry I'm going to eat cheap. I'm going to eat a little white mouse, a marmalade cat, a spotty dog, a black and white cow, a green crocodile, a grinning lion, a big elephant, and a gigantic whale. Gobble you up, swallow you down. Now that's what I call hungry. Oh, he's fat. All done. Other books by New Sharpie. Some tools. Okay. All done. Yep. Bye guys. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my dad's YouTube video. Oops. Ha. There you go. I think you can end it. No, you can't do it.